morning. Oh, you can't see me. There you are. Good morning, all. Uh, we slept on the boat last night and we slept well and we didn't have the aid of a beer. So that was good. So what, what I'm doing today, I'm going to sort out the back of the boat. Uh, there's three, four cubby holes that I've got to go through just to sort out. I know what's in one and the one behind me has definitely got an outboard engine in. We're going to try and get that started later with a bit of luck. Now, in this one here, uh, it had, uh, first of all, if you saw the video the other day, it had the, the bucket cleaning kit in, which was absolutely brilliant. And the chaps told me, now this is a tip, tip from Ted. Ted's top tip. It's the other best thing for cleaning a boat. David told me, wash and go. Absolutely brilliant. He's tried in 25 years everything, from expensive stuff from marinas, everything. And then one day, he tried a bit of wash and go from the wife, his wife, not my wife, and it works. So I keep finding bottles of this all over the boat. So it obviously works well. So there you go. Ted's top tip of the day wash and go right so what have we got in this locker uh let's say it had the cleaning stuff in it now it, it, it it's got these two bag things here there's two of them there's one and there's another now apparently i clip these on the front of the boat next to the door where i get in nautical term for the door I don't know anyway and that's to collect the ropes from the rigging but hopefully the weather today is absolutely brilliant there's no wind forecast sun to come out later so I'm going to do this bit and then this afternoon without a shadow of doubt sail goes up so you can have a look at the sail anyway let's carry on in here uh, got a foot pump that's it is uh, what else uh, oh, let's have a look fuel for the engine now he's also got loads of hooks here with ropes on so uh, let's have a look see what we've got so it seems to be loads of little bits like this little bits of lo rope laying around which I presume uh, yeah they've all got a use and uh, so I don't throw nothing away right then in here we've got more in ropes there's one two now, I noticed these, two, three, four, but these are softer. These are a lot, lot softer. So I presume you use them rather than the other ones. And another one. And, and another one. So we've got loads of rope, haven't we? So it's all, I suppose it's all things like this. Sorry. It's all things like this that save you money, isn't it? Because you don't have to go out and buy them. Right, uh, I presume, just in case I get attacked at night, we've got a club hammer. I don't know what the Americans call it. It's club hammer in England anyway. And then, oh my God, what have we got here? Oh, it's an anchor. Some sort of... I don't know. There's one. Two. They must have a name, aren't they? They must be called something because there's three of them in here. But what do you use them for? You, there's an area of... Ah, oh, clam hammer. Got it. Got it. I've got it. I've sussed it. For when you moor up on a riverbank where there's nothing, nowhere to tie the boat, no trees or anything like that, I presume you bang this into the ground with the <laughs> club hammer and you tie your boat up. Wow! So we've got three of them and the club hammer. There must be a term for that. If anybody knows what it's called, bank anchor, anchor on the bank, bank hook. I don't. It must be a, a term or anything with it. Uh, oh my god! A little bucket. Don't we have enough buckets? Well, I'm going to have to move now to get down further. I'll, I'll have to show you what else is in here. Let's have a look. Oh, that's the only trouble. When you get a little bit old, the old bones do creak a little bit, don't they? Uh, got a boxy thing. Uh, 
You see, it's all bits like this that obviously David, you know, the chap who had the boat before me, has has made has made this for something. Because look, it's it's made, isn't it? It's it's built for it must do something. So don't throw nothing away. We're going to keep it. That is the most important thing. Uh, oh my god! Oh look, got a handle for the. Uh, does it go in there? It does. For the winch. Wow. So that's good. Somebody's just starting their boat up. Uh, Bank fender. And another length of rope. Do you know, the, the, the most important thing though, I should think, is in fact there is no water in here. But there is a pipe. Now, let me just have a look at this. Let's unhook it and we'll take it out and we'll show you. Can we get it out? Uh, Remember there used to be a programme on television and they used to bring objects in and people had to guess what the object did. It's got a, I, I reckon it's for sucking water in or out, isn't it? But I'm sure somebody out there, somebody out there would tell me, because look, it's got a, a thingy on it and it's got a thingy and... Oh, it's a fill. No, it's definitely a water pump. Must be to empty, empty water out. Uh, yeah, okay then. Let's put it back, shall we? Hopefully we know. Anyway, there's no water in the bottom, which I think is absolutely brilliant. Uh, so we, we stick that back in there. Uh, it all came out, so I presume it must all go back in again. That's logical, isn't it? Right, so that's... Uh, anyway, look. Uh, I'm going to put another bit of rope. And look at that, nine inches. They've both been sealed at the end, so it's obviously very important. I'm going to put it all back in now, but I'll switch the video off because you don't want to watch that, do you? See you in a minute when I do the next one. Well, thank you very much for watching the uh, video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do so by uh, obviously sharing and liking and subscribing to the channel but even more i'd appreciate it more if you'd love to buy me a cup of tea so i can dunk my biscuits into it would be greatly appreciated follow the link in the description thank you